Howdy everyone, Desert Horizons, AZ Off-Grid Unplugged RV Ranch. There's the RV in the background. Um, this is a major day of celebration here, let me tell you. And then, where is it? I can't see it. Suaro's back there, it's right there. <laughs> where am I pointing? Yeah, it's gotta be around there somewhere, there's a Suaro there. Uh, Anyway, today's the uh, first day of winter, uh, December 21st, Independence Day for an off-grid person living on strictly solar. I have not run the generator and I'm not gonna, but it's like, it's been, it's been a few days, it's been tough. But from now on, it should be getting better. Every day the days get a little longer. Um, right now, I'm facing pretty much directly south, so you can see where the RV is and the awning. Um, because of the way the sun rises and sets, it's it's only because of the shorter days that there's less sun. Because it's actually the sun's actually rising. Let's see where we, uh, onto the panels much earlier after sunrise, and it's staying on the panels until just before sunset. Whereas in the summertime, it rises like three hours before the the sun actually gets on the panels and when it sets over there in the west it's not on the panels at all for like an hour or so but it definitely gets a lot more power then definitely gets a lot more power i get about five kilo yeah five kilowatts a day in the summertime and right now i'm lucky to get three and that was only because yesterday and today are supposed to be totally sunny um i'm not positive about today actually i'm predicting a few clouds but i don't see any just a beautiful day here. It's supposed to be like 79 today. It was 75 yesterday, 72 the day before. And like I said, this is the first day of winter. So this is why I live here. It's for this kind of weather. That's why I tolerate the summers. And it's not that hard. You know, if you think about what you do in the summers where you live now, you know, unless you're an off-gridder doing most of your stuff outside, you know, if you're living in the city or whatever, you're inside of your car, you're inside of a building the whole summer long. You're very rarely outside enjoying it. So it's the same thing here. It gets a little too hot to enjoy to be outside during the real hot part of the day. Other than that, it's you know, it's nice. Oh, getting a visitor over here in the background. Little puppy. See if you can see him. I can't see what you can see on here, so I'm assuming it's back there. That's Rodan, the, the black horse back there. And Ruger's wandering around down there in the wash a little bit. Hey Ruger, say hi. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I was just out here enjoying the beautiful weather. It's be beautiful. Today's Friday. It's supposed to be another beautiful weekend. And then about next Wednesday, I think the high is gonna be like 56. Major storms coming through, so that means places further east, you're warned now. It's gonna get nasty by the end of next week. I pretty much explored most of the area within walking distance of my place for Saguaro's. So now I've taken a driving. Um, I haven't been over to that one yet, but I'm guessing it's about eight feet tall. Um, and there's one right over there through the trees. That one's probably a little taller than the one by my house. And then I come around this uh, tree and I see all this, I'm assuming it's aloe, wild aloe. Never seen this growing around a saguaro before, but this saguaro here, um, keep an eye on, I don't know if you can see it, that mark right there on that saguaro, that's just over six feet high. And I'll see if I can back up to get the whole thing. It's also rocky and stuff through here. Can't get any place. Get a good shot. <laughs> Still can't get it all in. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, I'm sure you can't see that spot anymore, but should have been right about where the center of the screen is. So that one's. Could 18 feet tall, I'd guess. 
Six, yeah, at least 18 feet, maybe 20. This is the first one I was at. Here's the best way to get an accurate representation. My shadow on the ground is taller than I am. So, like I said, I guess this one, this is the first one, was about, be about eight feet tall. It's like I'm pretty much right on the mark. Maybe nine. This is uh, pushing close to 4,000 feet here. I don't know exactly if it's up a little bit or down a little bit from where I'm, where I live. This is just, uh, I don't know, about 100 yards from my house. And I come across this, uh, oh, there's a Ruger over there. Should be right about the center of the screen. Wagner's tail. Anyway, this prickly pear patch. I was halfway through it and I said, nah, I need to get a video of this. And it's like people are concerned that I wasn't uh, conserving the prickly pear. Oops. And then back to the trees right there, you can see the house. I was out uh, walking in my wash. There's the puppy. Hey, how you doing, Ruger? What were you chasing, huh? What were you chasing? I know you were chasing something. I was out the walking in the wash, and I came across this little anomaly, or whatever you want to call it. It's all dug down here. Well, it was at one time all dug down smooth. So, Every time it floods, or the wash floods, it's been obviously bringing this thing down from way upstream, and it's going to eventually get into here and fill it up, but that's the way it does it. It's slowly filling it back in, getting there. So, there's home. I'll zoom it up to life size. Yeah. <laughs>